Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our virtual celebration of Learning Assembly. There's been lots of great home learning going on this week, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with all of you. It's great to see how hard you're all working. Thank you to your grown-ups too for helping you with this. So before we start, I want every single grown-up to stand up. That's it, and you, come on, off the sofa, up you get. Stand up. Now all of your children are going to turn around and give you a gr great big round of applause. Well done grown-ups, thank you for helping all of the children doing their learning. You're doing a great job. All of your teachers and adults at school wish you all well and say that they are so pleased with how well you're engaging with the home learning. They are also so pleased to see you all email a message when you send in your learning pictures. As you know, in the celebration of Learning Assembly, each teacher has chosen a child's learning which they have been amazed by. We will show this learning in the assembly for you all to see, all the way from nursery to year six. And then after, we will award the class with the highest number of engagements with home learning in a week. And then, the class with the highest number of children who have engaged in a week too. I wonder who it'll be this week. But before we do this, a parent emailed in last week and suggested that the assembly could include saying happy birthday. So we're going to try this. I would like anyone who had a birthday this week to stand up. Yes, that includes you grown ups again. Everyone standing up? Okay, go on. Even if your birthday was last week, you can stand up. Everybody ready to say a big happy birthday after three. One, two, three. Happy birthday, everyone. Brilliant, that was so loud. Great job. So we're going to start off with our learning certificates. In nursery, Shelley has chosen a child who said that she wanted to draw a picture for her brother. Because she loved him. What a kind Kelby. Also, there's this fantastic learning from this learner. And he has been chosen for drawing these circles. First, his grown-up drew one and then he drew two. This person has been chosen by Emma for being a determined Derby at practising his numbers. He is achieving this now and forming his numbers correctly. correctly. Hannah has chosen this child because this child wanted a pizza for lunch. So her adults helped her to make the pizza dough and she added the tomato sauce and pepperoni. She also ate most of her pizza. She was very proud of what she had done and Hannah was proud too. Great job. Janice has chosen this child. Because she is improving her speech and has started to associate words and pictures. Zeta has chosen this learner because she used her fine motor skills. Using tweezers to pick up beads and using a pen to follow the lines. Teresa has chosen this child for her amazing number work. <laughs> Millie has chosen this child because this child has been working with her mummy to make Easter cards. She did some finger painting and then her mummy turned them into Easter chicks. She even signed her card by holding the chunky felt tip pen. And this child in nursery held the pens herself and coloured some pictures. Millie really liked the colours she used. And this child has been chosen because she built her own jigsaws, which is her favourite thing to do at the moment, and she can nearly count to 16. So, if you saw your learning, I want you to stand up. 
That's it. Come on. Yeah, and you. Stand up. You saw your learning too. And everybody, even if they didn't get their picture shown, everybody's going to give you a big round of applause after three. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Perfect. One, two, three. Well done, all of those nursery learners. And well done to all of those grown-ups who've made sure that all of that learning's been sent to all the key workers by tapestry. So now we have the school children in year R, in hedgehogs class. Look at this fantastic model. Miss Meaden loved the way the bottle was used to create the rainbow fish. The colours are spectacular. And Mrs Cole in the squirrels class chose this super learner. Because they have modelled sea creatures and then used their sounds to label what each sea creature is. Mrs Cole was very impressed with snow. I like the crab's googly eyes. So, year R, if you've just seen your learning, stand up and we're going to give you a big clap. Well done, Year R learners. Fantastic job. And so, in Year 1, this child's been chosen for some fantastic imperative verbs. And I know, Year 1, you've been working on imperative verbs. Can you remember what imperative verbs are? That's right, they're bossy words. And this child has been using them to write a recipe for Mrs Grinling so that she can make some icing sugar for cupcakes. Miss Sadler said, I'm sure Mr Grinling would have had a delicious lunch if he had had this icing, and I agree too. In Rabbit's class, this child has been chosen for showing independence in her learning, particularly in math, spotting patterns in numbers to help her solve calculations. Mrs James would be proud. She has also completed some lovely English story work for Year One Story of the Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch, working hard to improve her handwriting. And she has also designed and made a super design technology lunch basket. So, if you've just seen your learning in Year One, stand up so everyone can give you a round of applause. Well done, Year One learners. Excellent. And in year two, in Bumblebee class, this child has created a zoo with individual habitats to suit the animal. She has used recycled bits and bobs that her and her family have found on their daily walks. Mrs Reese was so impressed with how creative this child was. And in Ladybirds, look at these shipwrecks. She has done a phenomenal amount of learning and sent it through to Mrs Taylor daily. She even answered the telephone when Mrs Taylor called, which was very grown up of her. So, if you're in year two and you've just seen your learning, stand up for your big clap. Well done, year two learners. And so now for year three, Mr Bush sum this up. Great home learning. He was very pleased with this amazing cursive handwriting. And in snowdrops? Mr Lloyd has chosen this person because she has been working very hard since the lockdown, producing lots of work to a very high standard and has even been using her spare time to do extra work. Mr Lloyd is very proud. So if you've just seen your home learning in year three, stand up and we're going to give you a big clap. Well done. Great job, everyone. Keep it going. And in year four, in daffodil class. This child has been chosen for splendid baking that has been linked to her fractions learning. I'm good at cake fractions too, especially when I eat a whole cake. Mrs Clark and Mrs Shucksmith saw this picture just before their lunch and their mouths were watering. The pictures look good enough to eat. 
and Mrs Shucksmith wanted to say well done for all your home learning. In the sunflower class, Mrs White and Mrs Clark have been really impressed with all the work that this learner has been sending in. But they particularly liked her answers predicting what the year group's book might be about. If you've just seen your learning, stand up year four. That's it. Big smiley faces. And everyone's going to give you a big round of applause. Well done. In year five in Lavender class, there are four pieces of learning where she has shown excellent creativity. One is a self-portrait. One is using onomatopoeia. One is a drawing of Greece. And the other is a star constellation. Wow, this learner has been busy and Miss Poulton is incredibly proud of you. In Mint class, Mr McCabe has chosen this learner. Because she has gone above and beyond making her own comic strip on the computer rather than just drawing it. So if you've seen your home learning in year five, stand up and have your round of applause too. Well done. And last but no means least in year six. In Holly class, this child has been chosen because she has worked very hard on her diary entry about being evacuated during World War II. Miss Ahmed was amazed by the effort that had gone into this. And in Ivy class, this child has been chosen because he's worked really hard, especially on his job advert, which he's halfway through editing. He has just finished his maths challenges and even though they were tricky, with a little bit of adult help, he did it. Keep up the hard work. If you've just seen your learning in year six, that's it. Stand up, big smiley faces and have your big round of applause too. Excellent learning. Now, this week, I've chosen somebody to have a special head teacher award. And the reason why I've chosen this child this week is because this child has been really busy. He has finally learnt to ride his bike without stabilisers. He's been practising his resilience and turns out he's quite a determined derby. He started on the Monday and was terrified. By Friday, he was a confident Clyde and even able to start off himself without help. He is now loving it and flying around and he's been riding and cycling every day as part of his daily exercise. Brilliant. It reminds me of when I had to take my stabilisers off to ride my bike. I wish I was just as confident as you've been. Right, are you ready to stand up? Special Head Teachers Award for this learner. A big clap to. And now for the key worker with the best engagement. In third place is Millie's group. Well done, Millie's group. In second place, it's Shelley's group. Well done to Shelley as well. And in first place, the key worker group with the best engagement, drum roll, is Emma's group. sending it in using tapestry. We can't wait to see your home learning next week. So let's award the class with the highest number of engagements in home learning this week. In third place are the sunflower class. 
Well done, sunflowers. I know that Mrs Shucksmith is incredibly proud of all of you. And in second place, it was very close. It's the rabbit. Well done, rabbit. You've increased your home engagement by loads this week. Well done, Mrs Walton as well. And in first place, with 45 engagements over the week. Drum roll. <laughs> Is, who could it be? It's the Bluebell class. <laughs> Never mind Daffodil class. There's always next time. Well done, Bluebells and Mr Lloyd. 45 is brilliant. I wonder if you could get even higher next week. And now for the class with the highest number of children who have engaged in a week. Last week we did numbers of children. This week we're going to do it through percentages. In third were the snowdrops. In second was the sunflower class. Well done, sunflowers. And in first was, get ready for it, drum roll. Is, it's the ladybirds again. Mrs Taylor, what are you doing with your learners? Fantastic! Right. 73% of you have been engaged this week. That's an amazing result. And I know that Mrs Taylor is incredibly proud of you all. Remember, if you want your home learning to be shown in the Celebration of Learning Assembly next Friday, keep sending it in to your class teachers and nursery. Keep sending it in on tapestry and you never know, you might be chosen next week. Remember, everyone, keep being your best. Show respect, resilience, confidence, kindness, be inclusive and aspirational. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. Bye everyone.